in this video, we're going to go over the SOMSO kidney model. So this here is the adrenal gland, and then this is, as a whole, this is the kidney. So the main region, so you have the cortex, which is on the outside, and then the renal medulla, which is here on the inside. Within the renal medulla, this is where these pyramids are found. So then if we look at uh, some of the other particular structures, so you have the different calyces, so they have that listed as number five. So minor is these that are coming off here, and then when they merge together, that's the major calyces. That's what leads into the renal uh, pelvis, which is listed as number four. So then number three, where urine flows, this is the ureter. So then now let's look at some of the vasculature. So this here is the renal artery, number two, and then number one, this is the renal vein. So then as you work your way in this direction, looking at some of the different, some of the vasculature, so the part that's here in between, this is the inner lobar arteries, and then that's what leads to uh, coming down in this direction, this is the arcuate artery. So you have the arcuate artery, which is there, and then you also have the arcuate vein. So then coming in, in this direction here within the cortex, you have the interlobular artery, so that's what um, these guys are. So that's what's coming up in this direction here within the cortex. And then what feeds into here, so they have, so number 12 here, this is listed as the corpuscle of the kidney. So you have the corpuscle, which is where, within here is where the uh, glomerulus is, that capillary network, where the fluid is uh, filtered. So then um, you also have, so number 14, this is listed as the afferent arterial, and then 15 is listed as the efferent arterial. So then if we look at the nephron structure itself, so first off, you have the proximal convoluted tubule, that's 11, and then what comes down, number 10, that's the loop of Henle. So you have the loop of Henle, and then this is what would represent the distal convoluted tubule. So then what comes down, this here is where the collecting duct is. So look, these are the collecting duct, and then the papillary duct is what leads over here. So papillary duct, and then uh, just the renal papilla, that would be these guys right here, these little projections. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video.